Let's just jump right into it. We yeah. talked a little bit about the CBO score uh, uh, earlier in the show, but I want to get your reaction. Just going to read straight from the Washington Post piece. Healthcare legislation adopted by House Republicans earlier this month will leave thir- 23, million, 23 million more Americans uninsured by 2026 than under the current law, which is Obamacare. That is the score from the Congressional Budget Office. Is that as bad as you thought it was going to be? Uh, actually, yes, mm. because I think any time people just try and rip apart health care, repeal this law, this is what you're going to get. I mean, that's yeah. the basic flaw in what the Republicans are trying to do. You can't patch this over. You rip it apart, you suffer the consequences. To me, I think the most telling thing here is Republicans had seven years to get their alternative to Obamacare, right? You have all these people who came into Congress because they were said they were going to vote against Obamacare, they're going to repeal Obamacare. They had all this time to get together a better plan, and this was their time to shine. Didn't get it on the first couple of or didn't they didn't actually have the votes, but they thought they were going to get the votes, took them a little while, they shelved it, and they brought it back, and then we get this clunker that comes out. Um, it's clear why they crammed it through without a CBO score, but now that we have the CBO score, how deadly is that to them and their cause? Well, the politics for them are awful. Yeah. Um, the polling numbers are awful. You know, the Affordable Care Act is more popular than it's ever been. Yeah. Far more popular than the president uh, <laughs> Trump's of, uh, ratings. Even amongst uh, independents, uh, there's a four to one margin of people who think this bill's a disaster. Let's talk a little bit more about what's in this in this uh, Congressional Budget Office projection of how they looked at it. Um, because Paul Ryan was sort of touting, well, the costs are going to go down. Premiums are going to go down. Is that true? Well, they go up 20%. Okay. <laughs> and that, and, that, that's fuzzy math, as George W. Bush fuzzy, might say. Yeah, that's kind of like uh, Trump budget math. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but the fact is, the only reason they go down ever a little bit is because people are getting crappy insurance. So what, the, what basically they're saying is, let the insurance companies sell you what they want to sell you. Back in the old days where women didn't have maternity care. Um, so if you're going to make insurance worthless, you're yeah. going to get some of the premiums down a little bit. I mean, th- this was the crisis that we were facing. This is why Barack Obama worked so hard to get something done, is because it was so bad. The healthcare system was so bad because you could cut legally. You could just cut people out of the, out of the process. Or charge them insane amounts, right? And so it feels like, I mean, it wasn't that long ago that we faced a real crisis, and they want to take us right back to where we were. Yeah, basically, they'll take us back and worse. Um, so we're going to be in a situation where we're going to end up having more uninsured uh, than we probably did before this law started. So there's nothing good about this. But I think it's really important to note that you know this is not by accident. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, this is by design. This is that they were all they care about here was a kind of the uh, notch on their political belt to make good on a promise uh, that was completely partisan. Uh, it's interesting to see they never they've never had a single hearing. Uh, they have, and everybody uh, who knows anything about health care, from the cancer society to the family practitioners, all uh, hate this bill. People who know health care best, the American Medical, Medical Association, the AARP, the American Cancer Society uh, Cancer Action Network, March of Dimes, American Heart Association, American Diabetes Association, among others, all have come out and said, we oppose this legislation. Yeah. What more could you po- – I mean, these are the people who know it best. Yeah, and who people trust. Yeah. I think one thing we have to be careful about as we talk about this House bill is to remember that the Senate's marching down the same path. Well, so uh, that, this is where I wanted to go with you because there are a lot of people who say, well, the House just wanted to get it off of their plate. They'll get it to the Senate. It's not going to end up the same way. The Senate's going to you know, make it a little more appealing. I'm not so sure about that. Yeah, I would not be sleeping uh, well at night if that was your theory. If you were a person with cancer, if you were a person who uh, needed substance abuse help, I would not go to sleep thinking the Senate's going to be taking care of me. If if my savior is Tom Cotton, <laughs> right? Like I got to count on Tom Cotton to save me. I am not sleeping well. Yeah, well, good idea. Yeah, I'm not sleeping well. So how when you when we talk about the Senate is marching down the same path? Are they talking about any changes 
to the House bill, or, or what kind of changes are they looking at? Yeah. Well, let's first talk about how they're doing this, because yeah. you know what the House did is you know is do this in secret. Started yep. out behind literally behind locked, guarded doors, yeah. uh, and kept this bill a secret. Never had a CBO score, and then just voted on it, and then proceeded to lie about its consequences. Um, and the Senate is about to do the same thing. No hearings. Uh, a bunch of white men negotiating behind locked doors uh, on uh, the future of our health care. Uh, Mitch McConnell said yesterday, I'm not talking to a single Democrat about this <laughs> right. uh, because they don't agree with me. So I think they're, the Senate's marching down this exact same path. And, uh, you know, the American public are basically have rejected this. It is very clear. If you ask folks, uh, what do you think about the Affordable Care Act? It's now had 55 percent popularity. Yeah. And what people are saying, shockingly enough, the American people, at least shocking to uh, politicians, American people actually just, you know, are looking at this right. They're saying, look, the bill's working pretty well. It could get a little better. Let's make it a little better. But yeah. what you guys want to do is burn it up. Yeah. 